Hello, and welcome to the AlphaCam 2020 What's New videos. In this short video, we're going to be discussing the improvements that we've generated in our offset command. Our offset command is now capable of retaining any and all additional data that may be potentially associated with a geometry, including layer attributes, color, Z levels, etc. However, we're also able to retain custom attributes that have been set up by the end user, post writer, or a custom bespoke application. More interestingly, we've also enhanced the cycle to help you transfer the machining associativity to that newly created geometry. So let's review the functionality. So we are back inside of AlphaChem now. And you can see that I've created a geometry placed on a layer called AlphaCam 2020. This geometry has Z-level attributes, which we use for the automatic Z-level application of your cut. But it also has a custom attribute to which I have assigned the value of AlphaCam 2020.0. When you create an offset now, you'll be able to retain all information. Of course, not just the information of the layer, the color, etc but you will also be able to retain custom attribute information, which may be used, for example, in your post processor. Even more interestingly, if you happen to have machining associated with that geometry, like in this example right here, when I create that offset, you will have the ability to delete the original and pass that associativity to the new offset geometry. When I do that, you'll be able to see that the new offset is now the one that is associated with the toolpath. I'm going to hit update toolpath so that you can see the associativity. And there, so now I have generated a new path and a new geometry and I have passed all my machining information, which is once again, a productivity shortcut. What we have here is a solid file. This solid file has been machined using a boundary, which is represented by this green geometry. And you can see how the boundary is controlling the application of the toolpath. Of course, you can still just right click, edit the toolpath, change parameters on the cycle, etc. But now we'll be able to simply make an offset, provide an additional distance, and force the software to reassociate that machining. Of course, you get a warning message that you have to confirm to update your toolpaths, but you'll be able to see how now we have recalculated the offsets.